How the hell did Trump get elected, and why does he still have any supporters? I'm not trying to ridicule anyone's political opinion. We are all entitled to our votes and that's the way it should be. However, from a European's perspective, Trump and his administration are a joke, a very popular joke at that. It is unfortunate however that the pillar of that joke is the leader of the world's most powerful nation. I cannot possibly understand how he was elected, I remember his campaign, it was racist, homophobic and xenophobic propaganda. We are almost four years in now and America has gotten exponentially worse. I don't mean to offend anyone but the entire situation is just mind-boggling. Not a Trump supporter but I think a lot of people who aren't die-hard Trump people in 2016 probably were sick of career politicians and gave it a chance. I'm speaking mostly for those who were on the fence. Plus Hillary is one of the worst candidates ever presented. Edit. Thank you for all the awards and kind comments. To the people getting butthurt at what I said opinions are like assholes and we all have them doesn't mean they are right their opinions. To tie into what you said, my husband and I both voted for Trump. Had Bernie been an option we would have voted for him. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, one extreme to the other. We wanted change in DC. We foolishly thought that it could happen from the top down. That the two parties would be forced to work together to either stop Trump, because they were all against him then, or to implement changes because the shock of him being elected should have sent a message that middle America is not happy. Hillary was never an option, too much baggage and corruption. I went to two Trump rallies, my husband went to one Trump and one Bernie. He was saying what many people in the middle were thinking, drain the swamp was a biggie. As we all can see he has gone on to not only fill the swamp, but fill it with cronies and criminals. All we as Americans can do now is look at what we can do to make the changes needed in D.C. The whole place is corrupt and run by special interest groups. The average American is not considered in any of the decisions that go on there. Look at how both parties have responded to the needs. Of the people during COVID, none of them give a shit. But I can say with certainty that Trump truly only cares about himself. He doesn't even care about the special interest groups. By the way we will be voting for Biden and have done everything we can to help others reach that same decision. We feel responsible for helping get that pass in office so we feel our duty lies in helping getting him out. A lot of good answers here but I want to add something I haven't seen posted yet. Trump's biggest and most difficult accomplishment was winning the primary, the intra-party election for the Republican and Democrat candidate for the president. These are basically full-blown presidential elections in and of themselves, with huge media attention and coverage. Since America is a two-party state, others exist but they're basically a joke. Once you lock down the nomination from one of the two major parties you're basically a coin toss to win the presidency. The way Trump won the primary was by throwing the playbook out the window and going on the offensive. The rest of the field of the Republican primary was a bunch of slimy career politicians you wouldn't trust to hold a pack of gum for you. But they were all part of the same club and sort of had an unspoken agreement that they wouldn't attack each other too much. But Trump didn't care about that and went after every single other person in that race relentlessly every chance he got. This confused the other candidates and they didn't fire back until it was too late, both because they weren't used to dealing with this kind of strategy and because they didn't really take Trump seriously as a threat until he was basically so far ahead it was already over. In the early stages of the primary, Jeb Bush, George W.'s brother, was a massive favorite and most thought it was a foregone conclusion that he would be the nominee. Trump went after him so hard, calling him weak and low energy, constantly interrupting and mocking him, and Bush just couldn't handle it, because he is weak, he's uncharismatic and not particularly clever and he was completely unprepared to deal with an offensive strategy. Trump made him look so absolutely pathetic in those debates that Bush went from polling around 30 to 40 percent before the debate started to polling around 3 percent after four debates. He also made sure he was always the guy in the spotlight by constantly saying ridiculous and extremely controversial things to the media while also criticizing and undermining the trustworthiness of that media to maintain plausible deniability to all the horrible things they were, accurately, saying about him. And it worked because American corporate media is completely corrupt and dishonest it is owned by the same billionaires and corporations that own all the politicians, and the voters knew that. Getting them to convince themselves that Trump was somehow different was easy. 
The 2016 Republican debates are a fascinating example of how a good offense can cover so many other flaws in politics. It would make Goebbels jealous. Trump was mired in scandals, grossly uneducated about the issues, an obvious walking disaster that poked you in the eye like a solar eclipse, but it didn't matter because all of his opponents were just as bad as he was, and he hit them sooner, harder and more often than they hit him. Something like 70-80% to of his speaking time in the debates was just him attacking other people and he was speaking constantly, interrupting other candidates all the time. Those primary debates are a great watch, I've probably seen them all five times already by now, and if you can detach yourself from the horribleness of it all, they're pretty damn funny too, especially the parts with Jeb Bush. I would definitely recommend watching them if you really want to see for yourself just why and how Trump won the presidency. Sorry for the longest response of all time, but I feel like this is more complicated than just. People who voted for Trump are just racist. I voted for Hillary Clinton because I thought she was the lesser of two evils, but my parents and older sister voted for Trump. I remember being so confused and dumbfounded when they told me they voted for Trump, because I know my parents and sister are very intelligent, kind, and generous people. I thought all Trump supporters must have been all stupid racist God-fearing people. My family isn't religious, they believe abortion should be legal, they aren't racist, but if they voted for Trump, they had to be voting for everything he stands for, right? Well, when I thought about it, just because I voted for Hillary, it didn't mean I agreed with everything she said or did, I just made a choice. So, I tried to stay open-minded and non-judgmental when I asked them why they voted for Trump. They told me that they agreed more with his economic policies, where they want to avoid socialism, and believed a free market, and thought capitalistic policies were an imperfect system, but overall the best system to maintain the economy of the US. My mom is a pharmacist at a hospital and has a lot of doctor friends that she invites over, and they discuss politics, and most of these doctors are immigrants, from Czech Republic, Mexico, Venezuela, and I was also confused to find out they also voted for Trump. Why? They said it was because they worked hard to come into the country legally and didn't agree with people who came illegally, and they were worried that what they viewed as more socialist and communist policies would be passed in the US and create problems that they already tried to get away from. They don't respect how Trump calls people names and acts like a child, but they think Democratic politicians are just as mean and disrespectful, but in a more passive-aggressive way. Overall, they think he is still the lesser of two evils, particularly for economic reasons. I think most people are pretty moderate, where they agree with some conservative ideals and some liberal ones, but the people that get attention from the news are either extremist Trumpers or extremist leftists, and it's made everyone in America feel like they are in a war between with Nazi racists versus Nazi snowflakes and everyone has to choose their side. Fox and CNN, and most news, is biased as hell, and contributes to these portrayals. I don't think it's as black and white as people are saying. I'm voting for Biden in November, my parents are voting for Trump, so we disagree on who would be a better representative for America, but we respect each other's right to vote for what we believe without resorting to calling into questions each other's morality and humanity, because at the end of the day, it's a choice between a douchebag and a turd sandwich. I can't speak for the rest of the country, but this is personally what I have seen. A large demographic has been told they are all inherently racist. They are also mocked for their religious beliefs and, antiquated, view of family and gender roles. They feel marginalized and disaffected and Trump has played to these concerns.